What's up, party people? Pablo Diaz in the house. That's not how I start this thing. Buenos dias, and welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I'm about to shoot another podcast with Wes for our education channel, a new teacher talk channel. So, um, today in our leadership meeting, we talked about core values. They give us a list of all of these core values. We're placing them in a chart like this and put like seven in each one. And from those groups, you were select one core value from each one. And then you'd have like five core values. And the idea was that these core values are at the heart and soul of all the decisions that you make. It should be non-negotiable. We did have to talk about one, and one of them was having fun. So fun, oh man. So fun was one of the core values that I chose and we actually had to discuss it in a small group today. And fun to me loosely relates to a lot of other core values like communication, collaboration, all of those things that, that tie into whatever your core values are and what you would die on a sword. That's a bit much. The idea is to pick some core values, live by them because they actually, it, they actually affect the decisions that you're gonna make in life. And so, yeah, anyways, we're having a little fun. We're down here at the farmer's market in Fullerton and Remember gang, always have that fun. I say it at the end of every BDV video. Remember to always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life? Yeah. Okay, I brought my camera and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go shoot five black and white shots. So black and white shots are kind of unique. Like, it just takes a certain kind, would you agree that black and white, you can't just turn every picture to black and white. I mean, you can, but there's certain shots that there's make it, right? Picture that it looks yeah, a lot of the time, if you have great color, I don't know if you want to turn those things into black and white. It's not worth, like, you're losing part of the you're, You are losing some of the story that it's trying to tell. I don't know, other images actually just work in black and white. I'm going to challenge myself to shoot five images that I feel will look good in black and white. So here's what I've got. I'm back from the farmer's market and I failed. I couldn't get five black and white shots. It started getting really dark. And the shots that I got were on the grainy side of things. I wasn't, I'm not mad at that because I knew I was shooting black and white. I like a little grain, I'm into film. So, but I'm, but that being said, I am not mad at these shots at all. Let's just take a look at them. Okay, so my challenge was again to get five images, but I was not able to get that done. So I, I just, I was, I was struggling to find some compositions. I ran into a old colleague of mine and I said, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm taking some black and white photos. Can you hold up this beer? I really liked the way it was glowing off of the sun and the sun was setting, but just the, the sky and the background just, it felt right. But when I converted it to black and white, I, it does feel nostalgic. I do like that I captured the gentleman in the background sipping on his dark beer, his dark ale it looks like. I really love the moisture coming off the cup. It's a really, really good image in terms of just capturing the evening and, and the satisfaction that my friends were having as they had their beers in the beer garden. Let me show you the color picture. I do like the grain that is on these. I do like that they have that film look. I was shooting at a higher ISO for the lack of light, but I don't know. You tell me the color, or the black and white. I really think I choose the color here because I really get to see the colors of the beer, the moisture coming off the cup a little better than I do in the black and white image. So I choose the color here. So color, for this one. My goal was to get black and white shots. So I moved on to a classic black and white shot and that is one of bikes. The only problem was that the bikes that I found were all in a cluster. Couldn't find a good angle. 
probably could have went a little bit more macro on this, but I really like the way it turned out, um, the angle that I shot it at. I cropped the image a bit. I think it works in black and white better than it does in color because, and I'll tell you right now, because I think there was too many colors in the image. There was a lot going on here. So when you turn any image into black and white, it kind of reduces or eliminates, and I think it simplifies the image a little more. I choose the black and white image on this one. Again, I'll show you the color. I feel like there's a lot going on, but I think there's a, I think you can mute this a little bit more as well, uh, but I just prefer the black and white image. So one for black and white, one for colors. So now we go on to my last image, which was my favorite image, and I could go either way on this. This is a perfect shot. You have a couple right dead center, figuring out what fruits and vegetables they're going to purchase. You have a gentleman to the left. He's actually trying to figure out like whether he's gonna step in closer and actually purchase something today. You've got the gentleman working behind the counter, bagging some items up. And then you have the gentleman all the way to the far right. He essentially just got finished looking at his stock within his van. I really like this image. I think it works for me black and white. I lightened the top a little bit so you could kind of see inside of the shelter there or the coverage. But I really do like the classic brown and orange coloring that I did on this one. This is kind of a hot combination, especially on Instagram. Um, this is the way the evening felt to me. It was just kind of a nice and vibrant evening. There was a band playing and I really, I really like this image either way. I don't know, I, I, I'm waffling. What do you guys think? Uh, the black and white, does that work for you? Or the color? Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, both work for me, so. And that's it, that's the episode for Beers, Bikes, and Baskets. I hope you enjoyed it. That photography session was fun, and I enjoyed doing this kind of black and white color challenge. I'll probably do it again in the future. It was just nice to get out to the farmer's market, have a little dessert with my family, walk around, enjoy the evening. It was a perfect evening. And that's gonna do it for me today. Remember, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a like if you liked any part of this video and give me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you. Remember, always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life. And when you're having that fun, remember to always keep it fun enough. Outro, bing!